Hello class, good afternoon. Today we are gonna learn the following topic of the unit number two. Okay, so all of you guys help me to open your notebook and write the following title. So the title of today is called Should. Yes, this is the title of today. We're gonna start again with a very simple definition and it says we use the model verb should to express an idea of recommendation or to express the idea of an opinion. Yes, and over here it says one more time, we use the model verb should to express an idea of recommendation or to express the idea of an opinion. Utilizamos este, este verbo modal, o es un verbo prácticamente en simples palabras, se llama should y prácticamente the, the meaning in Spanish es como deberías, o yeah, kind of like that, okay? To express an idea, para expresar la idea of a recommendation, or to express the idea of an opinion. Okay? As simple as that. So over here we have the meaning. Tenemos el significado en Spanish. So you guys can know what it mean, what's the meaning. Okay? Prácticamente significa deber. Okay? Entonces. That's pretty much the meaning. Ya depende de la conjugación. Okay? With any of the subjects. Now, in this case, we were saying that should. We normally use it to give a recommendation. Or to express an opinion. Okay? As simple as that. So, first of all, I'm going to tell you an example of a recommendation. This, will, this one will be an example. Manuel should study engineering. Because he is really good at math. Okay? So the example says Manuel should study engineering because he's really good at math. Manuel debería, yes, study engineer, debería estudiar una ingeniería because he's really good at math, porque es muy bueno en matemáticas. Okay? So, in this case, me faltó aquí ponerle Manuel, coma, you should, Manuel, tú deberías estudiar engineering because you are really good at math. Ahí ya estoy dando una recomendación. I'm giving you a recommendation to Manuel. Ok, entonces creo que el, el, el ejemplo no estuvo muy bien. Déjame se lo suscribo otra vez para que quede un poquito más claro. No se me confunde. So, it will be Manuel. You should study engineering because you are really good at math. Okay? So here it is. We are giving you we are giving a recommendation to Manuel. Estamos dando una recomendación a Manuel. Manuel, tú deberías estudiar ingeniería porque eres muy bueno en matemáticas, ok? We are giving him a recommendation. Estamos dando una recomendación, ok? Entonces, we can use it as a recommendation or we can use it as an opinion. And the example of opinion, in the example of opinion, will be this one. Carlos should study more or he will not pass the exam. Okay? This one is just an opinion that I'm saying to someone. Yes? 
Carlos should study more or he will not pass the exam. Carlos debería estudiar más o no pasará el examen. Yes, I'm just expressing, solamente estoy expresando my opinion. Ok, so I have already given you two examples. Ya les di dos ejemplos de cada uno. Creo que es un tema very simple. Yeah, so in this case we're going to start first of all with the structure. The structure of should in affirmative. Yes, in this case we normally start with the subject. Yes, and then after that we write the word or the model verb should. Yes, after should. We write any verb that we would like to add, verb obviously in present or in base form. Or in base form, in forma base. After that, we write our complement. As simple as that. This one is structured and it's very simple. Yeah? So, an example will be like this. They should buy a new house near their office. Yes, over here I'm just saying an opinion, yeah? So over here we have they, ellos, should, deberían, buy, deberían comprar a new house, una casa nueva, near their office, cerca de su oficina. O sea, hace como que estás dando la opinión de que, ah, pues deberían hacer eso para que no gasten tanta gasolina. Yeah, that's going to be an example. And the structure is very simple, as you guys can see. We have subject, auxiliary should, or the model verb should, then the very present, and all this is just the complement. Okay? This one is one is affirmative. In negative form, we actually have the word or the model verb should, and the la palabra should, or model verb, in negative form. And that one is very simple yeah we have two ways the first one will be just like this shouldn't or the other one will be just adding a not so it will be should not if you write any of those ones it means that it's exactly the same significa que es exactamente lo mismo shouldn't and should not is exactamente lo mismo entonces the structure is really simple the structure también es muy sencilla we start first with the subject then after that we write shouldn't or should not. Cualquiera de los dos. And then after that we write again our verb in present or in base form. And finally we write our complement. And this one is the structure for negative form. An example will be like this. You shouldn't buy food in this cafeteria because it is really expensive. I'm just expressing my opinion. Estoy expresando mi opinión y le estoy dando la opinión a ti. Entonces, está diciendo, you shouldn't buy food in this cafeteria because it is really expensive. Tú no deberías, yes, buy, comprar comida en this cafeteria, en esta cafeteria, because it's really expensive, porque es muy cara. Ok? Probably you're going to spend a lot of money, probably te vas a mucho dinero. It's just... My recommendation, not to. Mi recomendación de que no lo hagas. Okay? So, on the, on the exercises that we're going to do, or the activities that we're going to do, is going to be pretty much related as the last topic. Vamos a unos temas parecidos, un, unos ejercicios parecidos a los de la semana pasada. Okay? Entonces, van a tener three different options of verbs. Yeah? For example, I'm going to write, um, by eat and work. Estos son nuestros three possible answers, nuestros tres verbos este, posibles para poder completar con should. And we have to complete the sentence. Tenemos que completar la oración utilizando esos verbos y obviamente que el auxiliar should antes. Ok, entonces, this one is just an example. Let's suppose that I have this. Emma 
Oh, let me write it again. I'm going to screw this. Oh, sorry. Emma, line or space. Y luego could be should. Luego va should. Y luego cualquiera de estas tres opciones. Ok. <coughs> Okay, so over here is telling you Emma line in the morning because she doesn't do anything in those hours and she needs money. Okay, Emma line in la mañana porque no hace nada. She doesn't do anything, no hace nada in those hours, en esas horas, and she needs money y necesita dinero. Entonces, ¿qué podemos decir? Emma debería comprar en la mañana, debería comer en la mañana o debería trabajar en la mañana. Pues obviamente que la única que le ha sentido to our sentence is work. Entonces, what do we have to do? We write should, Emma debería, yes, should work, debería trabajar in the morning, because she doesn't do anything in, the, uh, in those hours, porque no hace nada en esas horas, and she needs money. Y eso sería nuestra answer. Yes, eso es el ejemplo de activities number one. And the example of activities number two, you have to uh, select should or shouldn't. Yes, an example will be like this. This is the example of the activity two. You line Okay, I'm just exp uh, expressing my opinion. So, you line parenthesis read. Ya sabemos que read significa leer this book, este libro, because it is really boring. Porque está muy aburrido. Entonces, deberías leer o no deberías leer. Pues, obviamente, que la oración para que le dé sentido tendría que ser You shouldn't, tú no deberías leer este libro porque está muy aburrido, entonces está muy aburrido pues obviamente estamos refiriéndonos a el libro entonces le estamos dando the recommendation for not, not to do it ok, le estamos dando la recomendación de que no lo haga ok, so um, I think the uh, topic is really simple, creo que el tema está realmente very easy, very very simple, so si tienen dudas as you guys know, just let me know by sending me a message ok, si tienen dudas nomás díganme para enviándome un mensaje Ok, and I will be there to help you. Estaré ahí para ayudarles, ok? So, just don't forget, probably this week I will have to upload the scores. Esta semana subo calificaciones y ahí se van a dar cuenta quién está reprobado y quién no. Entonces, solamente hagan lo que tienen que hacer, que es simplemente terminar y completar all your activities, ok? Todas sus actividades. Have a nice week. Tengan bonita semana. And I'll see you guys later. Take care. Nos vemos.